The Boston Celtics probably have the most stacked starting lineup across the league, but going into the playoffs, there's one glaring issue that could give the Celtics some problems, and that's going to be their depth. So far this season, Boston's bench is averaging just over 28 points per game, and a big chunk of that scoring this year has come from Peyton Pritchard, who's going to have to play a vital role for Boston come playoff time. Now over the last 6 games, both Derek White and Drew Holiday have been dealing with some injuries. So we've gotten to see Pritchard's playing time and overall usage go up. And over this stretch, Pritchard has shown that he can be both a reliable scorer and playmaker for Boston. Now this year, I think the biggest improvement that Pritchard has made to his game is his ability to put pressure on the rim. So far this year, Pritchard is shooting over 63% around the basket, which is pretty impressive for a guy that doesn't have a crazy amount of height, length, or vertical pop off the floor. But physically, Pritchard is a really physical driver, having both good stability with the ball and a low center of gravity that allows him to carve out driving angles. You'll see Payton on this play catch and refuse the screen, and notice how he lowers his inside shoulder and attacks the defense's body to bump them underneath the basket, allowing Payton to easily settle his feet and finish this layup. Now on this play, watch Pritchard get to this push cross towards the baseline. And again, notice how he puts his inside shoulder into this defender's chest, moving him completely out of his frame, opening up another uncontested layup. And that physicality also extends out to the perimeter, where Pritchard loves to use these sharp and tight attacking angles to explode right through the defense's frame. Right here, Peyton isn't going to do anything super advanced off the dribble. He's just going to push the ball to his right and explode into this drive, to then veer back across creating a window to finish. When carving out these driving lines, I also think Pritchard is really good at using his off arm, commonly using it to swipe and pull himself into these drives. You'll see him on this play get to this simple right hand hezzy blow by, where Pritchard skips off his left foot, then replants it to push himself downhill. And as he starts attacking, notice how he brings that off arm around and pulls himself past the defense. Watch Peyton here make the same move going left, where he now initiates the drive by skipping off his right foot, then replanting it. And again, as Pritchard turns the corner, notice how he swipes with his off arm to carve out a driving line. Then he again gets back to using his inside shoulder to bump and create space into this finish. And then on top of all that footwork and physicality, Pritchard also plays with really good pace. On this play, you'll see him working off the screen. And notice how Peyton is going to slow down, bring his off arm up, and use his eyes to sell this pass back to the roller but then he's going to drop down into this drive to again initiate contact and come to this two foot finish. And then all these skills translate right over to Pritchard's mid range game, where he loves to use his strength and low center of gravity to bump and work his way to spots. You'll see him on this play working off his screen towards the middle, and notice how this defender is trying to fight over and work his way back in front of the ball. But notice how Peyton is going to lower that inside shoulder to keep his driving line, to then plant off his left foot and separate for a step back. Look at this play. We now have Pritchard playing one on one at the top of the key, and watch him transfer the ball between, then again lower his shoulder to attack through this gap. Then he's going to come to a two foot stop and fade out into this jumper. I also think Peyton has really good deceleration off the dribble, being able to aggressively attack angles and get the defense to open up, to then slam the brakes and separate for a pull up. Watch him here off the bounce attack right into this defender's body, and from this spot Peyton has the stability to quickly pick up and stop his momentum while the defense is stumbling backwards, which gives Pritchard the space to rise up. And then Pritchard's ability to attack to spots while remaining on balance gives him options to some counters as well. This is a nice move here, where Peyton's going to initiate contact and plant off his inside foot to step back into his jumper. But when the defense elevates up and takes away his shooting window, Pritchard can simply step through for an uncontested layup. You'll see him here pretty much make the exact same move, where Pritchard is going to again bump and separate back into the shot fake. But now when he steps through, Peyton is going to rise back up into his shot. 
So Pritchard's ability to navigate and score really well from these in-between spots opens up windows for his passing. And over the six game stretch, Peyton has had an impressive 7 to 1 assist to turnover ratio, which I think is really hard to do for smaller and more aggressive guards. Now when playing in the paint, Pritchard is elite at both playing with pace and leveraging his scoring to pull defensive gravity towards him, to then set up these easy looks for his teammates. Watch him here work his way all the way down into the lane, to then gather and pull this back line big towards the ball, which sets up this easy lob at the rim. This is also a nice time here, where Pritchard is playing in pick and roll, and notice how he hesitates and pulls this big all the way down into the lane, which opens up this wide open practice shot back up to the screener. Now like we all know, Pritchard's scoring also extends out beyond the three, where he's very comfortable generating shots both off the dribble and catch. Because Payne has the skill and physicality to break down the first line of defense, he's able to leverage that threat to push the defense back, which gives him the space to rise up. And again, when creating space into these shots, Pritchard's strength and stability with the ball also plays a big factor. Watch him here drop down into this combo off the dribble. And as he crosses the ball over, notice how he brings his right foot around to then replant it as he goes through and hops back into this jumper. Pritchard, heat check! Now going forward into the postseason, I think Pritchard's shooting off the catch is going to be huge for Boston because Peyton spotting up on the perimeter by itself will put a ton of pressure on gap defenders. Take this play for example, you'll see Jason Tatum here refuse the screen towards the middle, and notice how this help defender is going to slide down to take away this drive, but that leads to a simple kick out and catch and shoot 3. And then Pritchard is also really good at shooting on the move, which pairs perfectly with Boston's spaced out screen heavy offense. Watch him on this play shift down towards the elbow, then blast off his pin down screen. And with his momentum traveling backwards, notice how quickly Pritchard is able to settle his feet back behind the line and rise up for a stable jumper. For anybody. Good look there. So overall, I think Peyton Pritchard checks all the boxes offensively. He's got the ability to score from all three levels, he's also a reliable passer and playmaker with the ball, and his spot up shooting allows him to be really effective when playing off the ball. I think Pritchard gives the Celtics some much needed depth in the backcourt, and his role for the Celtics come playoff time is for sure going to be a vital part to this team's success. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you think of Peyton Pritchard's game. The kids here.